Okay, so one of the important things when you're using a financial calculator is to consider the fact that we store a lot of values in our calculator. And when we go to a fresh new calculation, they can affect the accuracy of it, particularly if we, if we forget to update. So we're just going to go through a few ways to clear out the memory. So the first thing to recognize is that the ONT button just clears your screen. So if I have to say 365 divided by 63, now push ONC, ONC has just cleared my screen. Everything in the background is still there. So for example, if I recall A, you'd see there's a value still sitting in A. And if I had to go and store something in PY, so a second function PY, is default one, let's just make it 23 and store it in there. If we push ONC and we say second function PY, you see it displays the 23, it hasn't gone away. So now we need to look at how do we get it to go away? How do we get it to go away is basically we use the second function and the CA button. So second function CA, and now it goes back to default. So if you want to clear the PYs and the CYs, etc., we'll use second function and CA. But if we clear the screen and say recall A, you see that A is still there. So the A is still there in the background. It hasn't been cleared by using second function CA. So there's layers to it and different functions for different um, parts of the memory of your financial calculator. Now, when it comes to the variables, the A, B, C's, D's, etc., there are two ways we can go about it. We can either individually take away for like A or B or C or D, etc., or we can clear everything out. So let's first just put in a value stored as B. So now we have, if we recall A, we have a value. Recall B, we have a value. Recall C, there's nothing there. Recall D, there's a value. Say we want to get rid of that B that we've just stored. We can just say zero. So push the zero button. Store B equals, and it is going to now, if you recall B, it's going to be nothing. So we can just basically zero store into that variable to replace it with a default of zero. Or, and before we go on from there, you'll see we say recall A, A is still there, recall D, D is still there. So it only got rid of the B. But say we want to get rid of everything. So we want to get rid of A, C, D, everything like that. What we're going to do is we're going to use second function and memory clear. So second function memory clear will come up and the memory uh, feature is going to get rid of, you know, all the variables and the reset is actually like that button on the back of your calculator, the reset button there. So it will clear your memory and it'll reset your calculator back to its defaults. So we just want to clear the memory. So we're going to push zero and we're going to confirm it by pushing zero. And now if we recall A, there's nothing there. Recall D, nothing there. So everything is cleared in that case. So second function memory clear is going to get rid of all your green variables. Second function CA gets rid of your PYs and your CYs. And it is useful to have the distinction between the two of them because sometimes you want to store uh, something for a new financial calculation where you have to update your PYs and your CYs, etc. So you can still store it in your ABCD and then use it even though you're clearing out your PY and your CYs.